Hi, my fellow guys. Uh, I have this question. Have you ever sat down and asked yourself, why am I still jobless? Bona sina kazi. Nisoma, nimaliza shule, but sina ka, sina kazi. And unemployment rate in Kenya is 6% and climbing. So many youths are currently jobless. And you could be one of them. You graduated with a diploma, degree, certificate or whatever. But you don't have a job. And if you have a job, it's not a job that is in line with whatever you study. Maybe you, you did uh, what we call food science. And right now you are a mechanic. You are completely two different careers. What are some of the reasons why you don't have a job that you so worked hard in campus, college or polytechnic? working in a different job. Here is my number one secret for you to learn that dream job that you want. Stop looking for a job and do for a internship. What do I mean by look for an internship? I want you to put yourself in the shoes of an employer. I'm hiring a mechanic or I'm hiring a chef, for instance. It is very, very, very hard for me to go out there and look for somebody new that I've not worked with and employ them as my chef or a mechanic. I'll go for that one person that I have worked with and most probably that person with an intern that I previously gave a job for some two good reasons one, it will save me time it will save me time to train this person most probably this person, a mechanic I worked with let's say three months before them, I would have to spend a lot of time training them. Where, where do we put this piece of food? Or how do we run things here? You already know how we do things here, so you are good to go. Number two, it saves me a lot of money. Trainings not only consume time but also money. Find in some organization will give you a three months training. You are being paid, but you are being trained. Being trained. And in that, you are losing money as an employer. So I'd rather go for this person that I worked with than a new person. So many people I know have secured jobs through internships. And uh, some of you will say, do I get an internship? And uh, people no longer do get an internship. You are right. Very few companies advertise for internships. But that is not to say that there are no interns in those companies. If, for instance, I'm an employer, put yourself in the shoes of an employer. You realize that. Um, In my labor force, I have a shortage of two employees, but I don't want to employ because my current financials are not very good. At the same time, I don't have uh, time for interns and all that. You know? So most people opt to not advertise. But if student approaches me, comes to my office, clearly knowing that I have a shortage of labor force, 
this in turn is telling me, noting down that student is telling me I'm very fresh from college. What I'm looking for is experience. I'm very much willing to work for you without no pay. But you give me that opportunity to work for you for free. What I'm looking for is In a very, very rare occasion, will you be turned down? One out of five chances will be that you will be hired as an intern without pay. The good thing about this is that once you have been into the system, the employer will be monitoring you, will be watching how you are performing, how you are able to solve problems and all. And as a human being, in as much as we agree that I'm not going to be paying you, there's no way I'll go for lunch and leave you behind. Most probably they go with lunch. Most probably, many a times, they will give you some tips here and there, some transport, we are mechanic. Mm, so, Today I'll give you 500 shillings for just lunch. Today I'll give you 100 shillings for lunch. You realize as the time goes by, you are learning, you are getting an experience. The other thing is that as you go by, as you as, as you are still working with this employer, remember you are not earning any sense. They are not paying you. But chances are, somebody will be promoted, somebody will quit or resign, or somebody will find greener pastures. And what will happen? There will be a vacancy. So this is your moment now. It is very hard for this employer to go out there and look for new people when you are there. So what they will do is they'll give you that vacancy. Are you able to do this? Yes. Are you able to deliver? I've seen your work. And I'm sure you, are, you can deliver on this. So, this is your starting salary. I'm starting you with 30,000. From zero to 30,000. And see what you can do. You'll be on 30 days probation. So, I'm speaking on an employer's perspective. So, if somebody else is out there, sitting there, waiting for adverts, for that vacancy that appeared will be very wrong. That job has already been taken by somebody who offered free service. So you now get my point. So if you are a student who recently graduated and you packed your links, you went to the shaggy or whatever in your village, you sat there you are waiting for job advice. You are very wrong, my friend. Go out there. Look for places where there is work. Go to that Mujengo. Go to that site. Look for that foreman. Tell them that you have a degree in electrical. Degree in construction. But you are not looking for a job. What you are looking for is experience. You offer yourself for free. You may be lucky that they are looking for a degree person. For that instance, you get a job in BD. But chances are high that this person is not looking for a degree person, looking for any other normal Mujengo person. And since you are willing to work, join the rest of the guys, and that will be your beginning. So my message today is stop staying there doing applications and not acting. Make those applications, apply for those jobs, apply for those internships, but also be willing to work for free, which will in return 
Long Stretch tu aja oh. Get me And uh, You can also do your own research Ask uh, 10 or Also people How did they secure the academic job Chances are they will tell you They started as interns They did not start as employees they started as casuals dance what mukono and all that nobody will come at your home and uh, and tell you that uh, uh, i have sensed that you have a degree in food science so and i was looking for a food science guy no those people are hiring the people they have worked with so get your feet out there out, out there look for those people who are look for those uh, and uh, your future will never be the same so thank you guys and i wish you all the best